Uh, hey, awesome doodle fans. Uh, I'm here today with Don and Christy, and they flew up here from Orlando, Florida today to pick up Ned. This is uh, Ned. Ned is a mini Aussie doodle, and Ned is a product of Mini Poochie. Uh, mini Poochie is a 27 pound uh, mini Australian Shepherd. Uh, and Aries. Aries is our main man stud. Aries isn't here right now. But what's special about Christy and Don's visit is that this is their second Aussie Doodle from us. Don and Christy got an Aussie Doodle from us about a year ago, and that Aussie Doodle's name is Tilly. And if you keep up with my YouTube channel and my website, you've probably seen Tilly uh, fetching, jumping in and out of the pool, and things like that. So she's on our YouTube channel. So Don and Christy, again, it's a pleasure to have you guys here. Uh, what's, what's interesting to me is that one of you could have easily flown here and picked up your puppy and came home. But not only to pick up Tilly, but now to pick up Ned, you've both flown up here uh, to, to pick up Ned. What makes you so passionate about these dogs? I think seeing them in the environment that they're in, I think that really helps us understand um, you know, the, the family environment, um, meeting Minnie and seeing her reaction with the, with the dogs, even with Winnie and how she reacts with the puppies. Um, and our experience last time, it was really good because uh, you know, they're small enough that you can take them on the plane with you, and Tilly was great the last time we flew. Um, she basically was in her crate the whole time. Uh -huh. She stuck her head out of the top. Oh, she stuck her head out of the top. and of the crate and basically I pet her the whole time until she fell asleep and she slept the whole way. I wanted to point out this is the type of carrier that Don and Christy will take uh, Ned home in. So this type of carrier right here it unzips here the puppy goes inside it's got some vents here on the top see how this opens up and then you take this right through security right? They put, okay. the, they put the, the uh, carrier through the security belt, and then we went through holding the puppy. So you take the puppy out of the carrier, you hold it, right. you go through the x-ray thing, right. and then they, and then they, sli they slide they this through. They put this through, through the x-ray machine, and you put the puppy back in there, and you're back off on your way. Okay. It's very easy. Do they ask you any questions about your puppy? Do no. they ask for a health certificate or anything like that? They don't ask for any. The only thing you have to do is you have to make sure that, you're, um, that you tell them that you are going to be carrying a puppy on board prior to your reservation for okay. showing up. And so you can't just show up onto the plane with a puppy, right. you have to you make have to reservations. Mm -hmm. That's right. very easy. They just said, okay, we got you listed, but there's going to be a puppy on the plane. So. Okay. We've had puppy families do this with Southwest, uh, Delta, and I believe American Airlines uh, so far, and we've had you know no, no troubles whatsoever. So you guys came here a year ago, you picked up Tilly. I uh, think her birthday may be tomorrow or? December 4th. December 4th. Okay. Tilly was a Red Merle Aussie Doodle, and Tilly was from Winnie, this dog here, this is Winnie, this is my girl that got it all started, uh, and Aries was the father. So tell us a little bit about a day in the life of Tilly. What, what kind of fun things does Tilly like to do? Frisbee. Swim. <laughs> Swim, and fetch, and love, be loved on. On weekdays, she usually goes to work with us, so she she knows when it's time to go to work. She, she goes she's to work with you? She she's a therapy dog. Everybody in the whole office goes <laughs> she, by. 50 they employees. Get, they get love. Everybody comes by and sees Tilly. Everybody yeah. knows her. Everybody loves her. Everybody, yeah, she makes her rounds and, oh, good, it's Tilly. People come down to our warehouse okay. just to see Tilly. Yeah. Oh, wow. So um, in the morning when I, when I get ready to go, I'm like, Tilly, let's go to work. And she gets so excited. I grab her, her leash and we um, go to the front door and she sits and we go out to the car. Now, Tilly's unusual because I don't leash her. Um, from the very beginning of getting her to Orlando, we haven't had to leash her. Um, only during training is when we um, put a leash on her, but um, she just she wants to be near you, so mm -hmm. uh, we're not worried about her running in the street or. Yeah. That's something really neat about Australian Shepherds uh, and Poodles is these are both two, two breeds that want to be by you all the time and they're usually very reliable off-leash within a couple years. 
but but you but you told me that Tilly was reliable off leash at how old? Eight, eight months, mm -hmm. seven about eight months. Right yeah. off that. So you were telling me before that are you a jogger or a runner? Um, in the morning, sometimes I'll run in the morning. Okay. And I'll um, usually it's pretty early, so I'll go out with Tilly, and um, he, she basically runs beside me throughout the neighborhood. And off leash. Off leash. So I mean, she stops and she sniffs a little bit, but then when she sees that I'm out of, you know, a little bit further ahead, she's like, oh my goodness, my, my mother has run ahead of me, so she catches up very quickly. So she stays right within around. Mm -hmm. 20 yards or so? Yeah. yeah. So that's pretty neat uh, that Tilly is 11 months old and that you can jog around your neighborhood and mm -hmm. that she's that reliable. And we have, uh, we have a 9 and a 10 year old and she is awesome with the kids and their friends. Um, she's um, she's a friend to every um, kid that comes around, so she's really good with kids. For being our first dog as a family, we were six months in, and we were ready to get another one. You know, never having had a dog, um, you know, what everybody said, oh, they're going to keep you up, they're going to do this, they're going to do that. I, I don't, you know, I don't know what every other one is like, but I know our experience has been fantastic. Yeah. First night we got home, she slept through the night. There's not really any concern. I mean, Tilly, I swear, within probably two weeks after she was home, she didn't pee or poo in the house at all after that. And she learned the tinkle bells yeah, she really went, quickly. Yeah, like so the, the bells on the, the back bells door. On the back yeah. door. Yeah. In a couple of weeks. I think you have to make sure that you're watching them because, I, you know, I recall, you know, every, every couple hours, I would, even whether... Tilly was looking like she had to go to the bathroom or not, I would take her out. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the key for them to associate the outside with going to the bathroom. Yeah. You know, you got to catch them before they do it. Mm -hmm. um, and they start associating, okay, I have to go to the bathroom. My bathroom's outside, so I have to go towards the back door. So you just have to, you have to, right. pay, you know, you have to pay attention. So 11 months into this, you've got your second... Awesome doodle. Mm -hmm. Tell us what your plans are for Ned. Well, we're hoping that Tilly will kind of become easy. a mama <laughs> on, you know, and, and um, kind of help us to train Ned. Um, one of our one of our goals for Tilly was to try and get um, a playmate because I feel like I feel like we could, um, you know, they have a lot of energy. So. Yeah. Having a second one, I think, will help kind of diffuse a little bit of that, that energy that she has. She couldn't so. get anything out of the cats. So. Yeah. <laughs> the cats <laughs> she won't play with she her. She can play with the cats. Are like, they look at her like she's crazy, and she still keeps trying. Well, Ned will definitely give her something to do when she's got downtime. Yeah. So I think that, and, and the other thing is we've got two kids, and we thought, you know, with the, with because um, we were born a girl, we thought it'd be nice to have another to have a boy and a girl dog, so. Mm -hmm. So Don, you mentioned Frisbee. Mm -hmm. Tell us about Tilly and her whole Frisbee routine. What, what does she like to do with the Frisbee? It's different things. Sometimes she likes me to stand out towards the back and, and just throw it across the grass and get a lot of spin on it so she can, you know, get under it and catch it. And then sometimes she likes me to stand at the back door and throw it as far as I can out to the backyard. Uh -huh. And she just, I mean, hauls. Wow. All the way out there, yeah. Slides into it and grabs it. And you've got a you've got a pool in your backyard. Yeah. How often does she go swimming? <laughs> per day. <laughs> so she's in the pool every day. Every day. Every day. Yeah. Now, anytime there's another dog there, she tries to get them to go in. She's like, you know, hey, this is cool. We can go in here. And if I'm out working in the yard, I'll turn around and she'll just be swimming around in the pool, just swimming around. And then she gets out, comes back over, hey, shakes, you know, and she'll do it. I mean, sometimes on, on the weekends, she'll get in the pool like six to eight times. Yeah, she loves the water. You know, she loves she's fun. all about it. So going back to what we were talking about before, you, you both flew here uh, to pick up Tilly. You both flew here to pick up Ned. Uh, tell us about that experience. Well, the last time... The last time we came here to pick up Tilly, um, it, we decided we were going to uh, arrive in the evening and then leave early the next morning. Yeah. And um, you pick, uh, you know, you picked us up at the airport, and you, and we were like, okay, so let's go see Tilly. 
I think we slept like two hours that night. We did. Because we get, had to get back on a plane at like six in the morning. No, no, it was earlier than that. You, we met, left you here met us at, at the airport at like four thirty with the puppy. Yeah, remember, the we left here at probably one. Or That's something. right. Yeah. <laughs> My experience with you guys in the last year has been just pictures and videos and stories about all the fun that Tilly is having, and I'm just thrilled that you guys have given Tilly such a good life, and Ned. He's going to have a great life too, especially yeah. with having a, a sister named Tilly. Really what made the decision on, on going with you as a breeder was the way that you cared for each litter. And then you took special care to make sure that everybody got attention and got touched. And got, mm -hmm. You knew their personalities and you knew everything about each one of the puppies. That was a huge selling point because, mm -hmm. you know, you care if the person that's, you know, breeding the puppies cares that much. Mm -hmm. You know you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get a good puppy. You're gonna know what it's about. You know, and then coming here and seeing exactly what you do, it's mm -hmm. like it's a no-brainer. When a dog looks you in the eyes and they're looking for direction, I think that's pretty monumental, and that's what Tilly does. It's like she's she looks at us and she's like, okay, what are we doing next? And she you can you can mm -hmm. you can really kind of see what she's thinking. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's I think that makes for a good dog because mm -hmm. I mean you're truly their master and they're listening to what you have to say. There's something behind her eyes when she looks at you. Yeah. She's not just looking at you. She's looking at you She's like thinking. come on. Well you've done a good job with Tilly because that's you know, that's you guys showing Tilly that you're the pack leader, mm -hmm. that she looks to you for direction and when when a dog understands that you're the leader and you know they're the follower. Everything just everything just works out. They're confident. Mm -hmm. They uh, obey the rules better, and you know it all kind of lines up after that. So Don, you, you mentioned uh, the things that you know we do with puppies here before they go home, and that reminded me of how I worked with Tilly when she was seven weeks old on fetching. Yes. We fetched down that hall right mm -hmm. there. And when you took Tilly home, first day we got her home. The first day you got her home, mm -hmm. you sent me a video of her fetching in yeah. your kitchen. Yeah. So that really says a lot as to you know how it all meshes together. And you know Tilly learns how to fetch here. She goes to your house, and you know she's got that great head start. Well, and she's sitting too. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah all sitting. the puppies learn how to sit and wait for treats before they go home. Mm -hmm. So thanks for coming, uh, Don and Christy, again. I'm so pleased and excited that you guys are going to get Ned. Ned is going to have a fantastic life, I know, and it's going to be interesting to see how he meshes with Tilly. Uh, so you're our second family that has chosen their second oh. dog from us, so I think that's really cool. And um, again, thanks a lot for, for making the trip up here. Oh, we're so excited yeah. to have... To have Ned in our, in our life. We're so excited. We can't wait for Tilly to meet Ned. This is going to be fun. Over Thanks, now. Awesome Doodle. Awesome Doodle fans. Don and Tilly were here almost a year ago and they picked up Tilly. Don and Christy. What did I say? Don and Tilly. <laughs> I thought I'd go ahead and correct you on that because later you're going to be like, I was, I was waiting oh. to see where you were going with that. <laughs> I was like, Don, tell it. Yeah, okay, that's right. Yeah, we were here about a year ago. <laughs> and Winnie, your fart stink. Uh, is that what I smell? It's so bad. They're pregnancy farts. It just it happens. It's all part of it. Sorry. It's not just a dog fart. It's a dog pregnant fart. Oh. So I'm not sure if there's anything worse. <laughs> She's not eating anything besides dog food and chicken.